Yo, what's going on people? Tech Jammer, we got a traditional unboxing for you today. We got this capture card fam, like it's an unbranded capture card. As far as I know, Elgato are the best captured card company out there, but them man didn't sponsor me, so other people are now shouting at me saying we've got capture card solutions on the cheap cheap this one is 77 bar i'll put the link to where you can copy it on amazon below basically guys i just want to unbox this get it linked up to the computer and that and just see whether this can put out good 1080p 60 frames per second footage from my nintendo switch to the computer and yeah whether it's gonna look as good as the elgato so we're gonna just start taking it out as you can see it kind of looks like a usb-c docking station kind of thing um, one of them things that you would use to extend the usb ports on your mac um, it looks very simplistic though you've got hdmi there hdmi out and in then you've got headphone socket and microphone Nothing on that side, nothing on that side, nothing on the back. And then here it looks like you got a USB-C socket, although it's quite a weird shape. It's weird the fact that it's inside this little thing, so God knows what's going to happen if I lose this cable. But anyway, um, yeah, that seems to work, so I'll just leave that down there at the moment. Um, we've got a USB-C to... USB-A cable, that's cool. And we've got a USB-C to USB-C cable. And we got some instructions. So, yeah, I'm going to have a read of these. These are in English. And let's see um, how easy it is for me to connect it to my computer. Can I just say, it's not looking very promising. I've just plugged the USB cable in and I hear bear rocking. So I feel like the USB-C port in there isn't even fixed properly to the motherboard. But anyway, yeah, let's get it plugged in and see what it does. Alright uh, guys, so we got the capture card hooked up to the laptop via the USB-C to USB-A 3.1 cable. And then we got a simple HDMI from the capture card into the back of the Nintendo Switch dock. And we got it up and running on OBS. And literally, it was plug and play as soon as I put it on to OBS. And it looks quite decent. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to output some footage so that we can see how decent it is. Um, the only issue is that it wasn't giving me sound. But now that I've read the instructions, there are some specific instructions and settings that you have to set OBS to for it to recognize the sound coming from the capture card. And now that is all done. So, um, yeah, the next thing to do, guys, is to run some gameplay, record it, and let you guys see what it looks like. Let's see what you 
Guys, I don't know about you, but for me, that is more than adequate. The colors are punchy, the frame rate is there, albeit the blacks and the whites, the whole dynamic range situation is a bit sketchy in comparison with the Elgato HD60 range, but the latency between the gameplay and the preview on OBS is actually up there with the performance of the HD60S, which means if you don't have a secondary monitor, you can still record gameplay off your game's console and play it from the monitor's preview on the OBS or whichever broadcasting software that you're using. Um, I, I think it's cool, definitely for the price, especially when you consider all the Elgato stuff is like, 150 pounds and more you got some razor stuff as well which i think is around about the same price um it's definitely good enough to disrupt the market will it i don't know it's quite a small company but that's why i'm trying to bring you guys attention to it so that if you're trying to record gameplay do a little bit of content creation on the low price budget side of things this kind of options are out there fam these options are out there for people to go and have a look and go and have a cop you just got to know where to look so i'm going to put the link to where you can cop these in the description section below let me know what you guys think about the quality in compared to in comparison to all my other videos which are shot on the hd 60s so um yeah guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next one bless